For more free videos, go to zerox.billiards.com. All the videos are organized, so learning the game of pool has never been easier. From fundamentals to kicking, banking, breaking, and cue ball control, we have all the videos you need to supercharge your game. So let's go through some drills so you can better understand how to perform the sliding cue ball shot. Place an object ball about a diamond away from the corner. Then place the cue ball one ball away from the object ball in a straight line. Now move the cue ball so it's at a slight angle to the object ball. Now we need to find the path the cue ball will take toward the side rail. And you can do this by using your cue and holding it at a 90 degree angle to the pocket line. And mark this spot on the rail with a piece of chalk. You can also double check this path using a piece of paper. And now we can see that this spot on the rail is right on. Next we're going to place a ball next to the rail. And this ball will represent where the cue ball will strike the rail at. Next I'll put two object balls one ball away from this spot. So the goal is to strike the object ball and hit our spot on the rail while missing both of the obstacle balls. Now this shot requires a very precise hit and you may end up brushing the first or second ball when you perform the shot, which is fine. If your cue ball ends up going directly into the first ball, that means your cue ball wasn't sliding when it struck the object ball. It probably had some roll on it, which pushed the cue ball forward toward the first ball. And if you go into the second ball, that means the cue ball had too much draw when it struck the object ball. Also, practice hitting this shot at different speeds. Here, I'm trying to land the cue ball near the rail. This is a difficult shot to hit perfectly, and even strong players will sometimes run into the obstacle balls. But keep practicing from this distance until you become more consistent at this shot. Then start moving the cue ball farther away. As the cue ball moves farther away from the object ball, it takes a little more skill to make sure the cue ball is sliding when it contacts the object ball. Spend some time practicing this shot at different speeds and from different distances. And when we talk about position fundamentals, no shot is more important than the sliding cue ball. Understanding this shot, along with being able to perform it consistently, is one of the main building blocks to creating a strong runout game. Eventually, you'll want to practice this shot from this distance. And if you have any problems performing the shot correctly from this distance, try setting up a straight in stop shot. Shoot it a few times at slow speed. Once you are able to do this a few times, try the drill shot again and shoot it with the exact same stroke as the stop shot. Now try the stop shot at a faster speed. Then perform that same stroke on the drill shot. In this shot, our object ball is in the middle of the table. We'll place the cue ball at a slight angle, so after contact, the cue ball will head to the end rail. So now we need to figure out the exact spot on the end rail the cue ball will strike. Once again, I'll use a piece of paper to help find the line. And the better you get at this type of shot, the easier it's going to be for you to see the cue ball path just by looking at the shot. If struck properly, you should be able to get within a couple inches of your mark. And if your cue ball has draw by the time it gets to the object ball, the cue ball will end up to the left of this mark. A lot of draw will pull it all the way to the side rail. And if the cue ball is rolling by the time it reaches the object ball, it will be pushed to this side of the mark. High action can actually push it all the way to the pocket. So in our next practice session, try creating your own sliding cue ball drills. Place the object ball on a sticker and just find this sliding cue ball line. Once you find the line, place the target on that line. And you can even check it with a piece of paper to make sure it's exactly on the sliding cue ball line. Now place the cue ball near the object ball at a slight angle and try to slide the cue ball toward your target. And see if you can do this five times. And remember, the key to sliding the cue ball is accelerating through the cue ball. If your stick is slowing down at all when it strikes the cue ball, you may miss your target. Also, try moving your target around. For instance, here the target is no longer on the sliding cue ball line, so the cue ball will need a little bit of draw when it strikes the object ball. Now my sliding cue ball line goes here over these two stickers. If I can hit the shot correctly with medium speed, the balls should end up in the same area at the other end of the table. But if my cue ball is rolling instead of sliding, we now see that it takes a much different path. In this shot, the cue ball has too much draw, which pulls it down to this end of the table. If you practice these types of shots enough, it won't take long until you can accurately gauge where the cue ball is going. Now let's go through a couple examples of when to use draw or follow on sliding cue ball shots. In this example, I'm playing a game of 8-ball and I need to get on the 8. But the sliding cue ball line heads to the wrong side of the 8-ball. 
So if I want to end up in this area, the cue ball will need a small amount of roll when it contacts the three ball. So I'll strike this shot just above center and I should end up perfect for the eight ball. Here's the same shot except this time I need to end up on the other side of the eight ball. Since my sliding cue ball line heads toward the eight, I just need a little bit of draw on the cue ball for a position in this area. Here's the same shot except I'll need a little bit more draw on the cue ball to bring it back for a position. To watch more free videos like this one, we set up a page that is filled with free videos covering every aspect of pool. All the free videos are organized by topic, so learning this great game of pool has never been easier. I put a link in the description that takes you directly to this webpage.